lock down there. Doug Swab. Yep. You fired up, man. I'm always fired up. Got some Johnny Cash going on here. That's, Staying that's, nice. It's pretty much every day. I, talking to Roper about kind of week of training cycle, getting into getting yeah. into conference dual meet season. Not doesn't seem like a lot's changing with you guys as business as usual. Just just getting getting ready to uh, compete. I mean, yeah. I mean, we want to be consistent in everything we do. So I mean, it's it's a it's a big date, but I think every date that we get a chance to compete is a big date, you know? So I, I think feel like we've been raising our level um, very consistently the last three duels. I thought we thought we could perform really well, wrestled all the way through matches, and that's that's what I care about, man. The things that we're, we're talking about and the things that we're executing in here that we're able to go do them, perform them out in competition, you know? So there's there's not that block, right? Whatever it is, the, the mental block or the situation kind of gets to you or whatever, man, that we've... We've, we've prepared these guys, now it's just time to go out and perform. So I feel like guys are prepared, man. You feel some good energy. Like I said, this week was really good energy from guys really getting after it. Uh, you know, we came off Midlands and we had we had a couple weeks in a row where maybe we didn't get to train as much as you'd want to just because sometimes the schedule doesn't allow it, you know, especially so you're trying to get ready for a competition. Sometimes you train through competition, but sometimes guys are just beat up and tired and you gotta, you gotta be able to manage that too. But when you go out and compete, it doesn't matter. The other team doesn't care how we feel. <laughs> and we can't really care how we feel either. But the more that we, I think, continue to have these guys prepared positionally and strategically, and just, and we're, we're in great shape as a team, man. And we got to be able to go out and use that. And we got to trust ourselves um, in a lot of these situations. I don't care who we're wrestling, it doesn't matter. That, does, that, has, that has zero bearing on, uh, to me, what kind of effort that we can give and how much we can fight. And, that we can go score and beat anybody in the country, no matter who it is, and that's that's how we're preparing. Every time I'm in here, you got an alum, you got somebody, a national champ, yeah. a former coach, an athlete, always coming in here talking to the team, giving them perspective. Yeah. Uh, how important is and he and, and today the guy talked about Foster and how important yeah. he, he talked about the importance of that national title, and yeah. obviously you want ten national champs every year, and that you know that's a rare occasion. Yeah. But. But talk about those guys coming in and painting that perspective and helping these guys kind of take a step well, back and look at where they're at. See, I think, man, we got to keep their perspective strong. You know, I mean, we can sometimes you can get so caught up into maybe a record or a ranking or where you're at right now and you don't look, sometimes look at the big picture. And they don't need to look at the big picture as much. Like, I want them to take care of today, but they also need to be reminded of certain things. And, and man, our alums, I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the history of our program. I mean, a guy that's been a couple time national champion and when he when he was coming through, they were winning, you know, I mean, they had a lot of guys winning national titles. So it was, I want to say that it was just like commonplace, but they were like, hey, I expect this guy won in front of me, Miller won in front of me, I'm going to win, this guy's going to win. And they kind of kind of use it that way. And that's kind of what he's talking about. They just to kind of get that guy to the tip of the spear to break through. And now other guys know it's not going to be easy, but they know that they can do it and they can do it in this room. And, you know, that's, that's important. But having guys come back and talk and, and man, you can you can learn from anyone. You know, you got to keep your eyes and ears open. That's one thing I try to make our guys like. You're all, you're a lifelong learner, right? Like, and you guys don't have anything figured out. Hopefully, I don't have anything figured out, man. I, so I try to always pay pay as much attention I can to who's ever talking because you don't know what's gonna maybe hit at the right time too. And this makes sense to a guy, and a guy's like, oh, holy shit, man, I never thought of it that way, or like, oh man, that makes sense. And then sometimes it, sometimes it just clicks at different times. That's why you kind of keep hitting guys and you hit them from different directions, you hit them uh, multiple ways, and you kind of keep keep saying the same thing over, and maybe you just tweak it a little bit. But man, the things that are important, man, it doesn't matter, you know, and he's, he's, a, he's, he's a very, very successful businessman, he's successful in wrestling, those things translate, it doesn't matter. Like, it's it's the same, like how you're gonna attack this is the same way hopefully you're gonna attack your family, you're gonna attack whatever business, whatever opportunity you're gonna have in the future, um, you're more prepared for it through, through wrestling. And you know, that's what he was talking about, talking about the things you can control and, and doing them to the best of your ability. And that's something that they hear every day, but having someone else come in and, and say it, man, and just that we, we need to pay pay our respects to the people that came before us, that paved the way for the program, that, that are in the hallways. And sometimes guys only see a picture of them, they never get a chance to talk to them. So anytime that we can give a lum back or we can get anyone, you know, I mean, heck, we had, we had Utah. Man, because there's a, just, I have, I try to have guys talk that come in because they have something to offer. And, man, you guys, you've been successful and you've found ways to do it. And, like, man, sometimes it's just, just hearing it, hearing it the right time. So we just keep, we keep hammering our guys and getting guys in front of people. And, and we'll keep doing that. As long as I'm coach here, that'll continue to happen. So 
You know, these guys are men, they're young men trying to learn how to be men, and I'm still trying to figure things out too. So if we can't all be lifelong learners, then something's wrong.